It is Restaurant Week here in New Hampshire, and we are joined by Roland Van Gotten. He is the culinary director for the Common Man Restaurants. Thanks for coming in, Roland. Well, thank you for having me. And so this is one of the vegetarian offerings that you're going to have for Restaurant Week. Is that right? Yeah, that's correct. It's our uh, stuffed portobello mushroom with a uh, wheat berry salad with a slight citrus dressing, some cranberries in there for a little bit of sweetness, some braised spinach, roasted tomatoes that I pre-roasted in the oven for about 10 minutes, at about 375 degrees, seasoned with olive oil, salt, and pepper. And then the same thing with the uh, cauliflower, about 10 minutes at 375 degrees. Yeah, and the um, roasted tomatoes, when they're roasted, they just have a great flavor. Yeah, it gives that, that sweet caramelized flavor. Same thing with the cauliflower. Even if you mash this up afterwards, it, it, it's, it's an amazing twist on a, a, a mashed potatoes. Mm. So I'm starting out with a roasted portobello mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm braising my greens, a little bit of olive oil, and you can season them however you want them. All right. Uh, Tell us a little bit about what else is going on for Restaurant Week and how it works. There's 150 uh, participants this year. Um, it's starting Friday the 16th and running through the 23rd. Uh, we also have some lodging facilities that participate. Uh, we would like people to come out and enjoy the bounty of, uh, of the state. Uh, within the Common Man, we have seven different concepts, our diners to our lake house property and our Italian restaurants. There's multiple different uh, menu items available, three course meals, including desserts. Uh, so it's, it's actually, it's, it's a great opportunity for anybody to join, join in and, and, and try all the great foods in the state. You kind of help all the restaurants kind of come up with their menus, is that right? Yeah, it's a combination with working with the chefs in house mm -hmm. and looking at what's available throughout the state. We're focusing on a lot of local produce that coming up. Uh, we have a small farm in, in Holderness, Chris Owens, that helps us with uh, greens and Swiss chard. We incorporate a lot of Swiss chard this year on the menu. So I'm just I'm starting to start start stuffing the mushroom with the spinach. I'm adding my cauliflower to the side. And then the roasted tomatoes. And again, yeah. I, I always try to plate so that it's visual, so because the eye is really the first thing that looks at the food. So mm -hmm. if it looks good, it tends to people assume that it tastes good. Right, it tastes with your eyes There's first. Some basmati rice going with it. And I know, Roland, you're from Switzerland originally, so do you, um, and I'm sure you've traveled quite a bit, so do you take a lot of the flavors that you grew up with and put them into um, menus? I think, I think what's interesting items? now is because of the globalization everywhere, we see a whole bunch of influences coming in from everywhere. And we have such great products available throughout the state that I think it's just, it's, it's, it's being extremely, it's getting very interesting when it comes to flavors, and, and I think people are getting exposed to some new things that they never had before. And it's a great time to try new things, Restaurant Week as well. Absolutely, absolutely, from the sea coast to the North Country to the southern part of the state. This looks great. Yeah, this and looks wonderful. these are our wheat berries. It's basically the whole wheat kernel, and then it gets cooked. If it takes a long time to cook, but it's very healthy. Um, it, it, it's, a, it's a nice nutty flavor, and I think it's, uh, it's a nice combination to this dish that I have already set up for you guys. All right. Well, we hope that uh, some of our viewers will check out Restaurant Week and head Please. out to some restaurants maybe they haven't tried before. There are some wonderful deals being offered, right? That'd be great, yeah. And actually, uh, this recipe is online, and we have several recipes on New Hampshire, restaurantweek.com for uh, customers to look at. And there's also all the restaurants are listed uh, with the menus, um, so it should be easy to find you know, something that you like. Okay, Roland. Thank you so much for appreciate coming it. in. We Thank appreciate it. Thank you so much, it. Aaron. Thank you.